Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cut a biscuit like the ones you are seeing on your screen. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is, of course, to draw your um, horizontal line. And this is material that's folded into two. So because, this, okay, the waistcoat I'm cutting is a, a lapel waistcoat. That means the, the waistcoat has a lapel, like a suit, like a suit. So you're going to draw your line. By the way, this line I've drawn is um, two and a half inch two and a half inch and then the line is not a constant it depends on how big you want your lapel to be now you're going to draw four inch above and the reason of this four inch of course is because it is it is a lapel waistcoat it's because of a lapel it has lapel if it was a normal waistcoat it's not going to have this line at the top and you're going to have just one line at the horizontal line so you're going to draw three and a half vertically and three and a half horizontally like i've marked and then you are going to take your shoulder so let's say the shoulder is um okay sorry let me take that again you are going to take your shoulder exactly without having to add any allowance so if the shoulder is 18 you divide it by two nine and you Put your nine that way and then you go down by two and a half to get the shoulder slant and you mark it that way then the next thing is to get your length and to get the length you're going to take the measurement from the shoulder like so and then wherever the length is you add one inch for swing allowance and then you rule the line like so yeah Okay, make sure your material is flat and the next thing you want to do is to get the, the chest measurements you're going to for example this one i'm doing now is 42 you're going to divide it by 4 which is 10 and a half then you add two and a half inch for the two and a half inch part of it is going for the dart and then part of it is going for the swing and allowance and then the swing the swing allowance of the facing and then the swing allowance of the two sides when you are sewing when when we get to the sewing part i will explain to you where this two and a half goes to so you rule your line straight like that the next thing is to get your armhole for this measurement of 42 i'm going to use eight and then you cover it like so sorry i'm having cut time i'm just managing to do this video so the next thing you want to do now is to get your your lapel and the lapel it depends on how deep there's no exact measurement for this it, it depends on how deep you want the chest to be and how um or how how down you want it to go or how up you want it to be so it is just based on what you want all right then you get your down curve this way all these there are no measurements for it for them it all depends on what you want how sharp you want it down to be so as you can see the cutting of his coat is this easy all right so and that's how our dart is going to be i'm going to cut out this dart and then sew it back again so part of those two the, and that two and a half we added is going is going out from this dart when you're sewing it back so this is our lapel as you can see that's basically how to cut how to draft a biscuit a major part of the measurement goes in when you are sewing that's where you um, get the exact measurement of the pressing so when we get to the sewing part you, you see how easy it is to I think with coat is among the suit family but then it's the easiest thing when it comes to suit making so like you can literally sew with coat in like 
45 minutes 30 minutes depending on how fast you are so i'm just excited to teach you how to make a biscuit so let's get into it so you're going to cut it as you can see our lapel now has come out so at this point this that's that's the point you're going to make you put your pocket and then if you want you put your chest pocket like so okay this way it's going to be slanted this way so you're going to now you can see the lapel covers a major part of the pocket so if you like you can reduce the lapel the size of the lapel so that it doesn't cover our pocket but most we school don't have it doesn't have chest pocket except if you want it then you can put it so you can see it has given space for our chest pocket it is looking nice already so you might want to reduce that up extension yeah there you go and the next thing you want to do now is to get you are going to cut the facing for the waistcoat and the facing should pass that sharp edge at the bottom and should also exceed the collar so this is how to cut your facing just put it just put it over the remaining material and then cut it out so let's get the straight line first of all Like I said, cutting a biscuit is, the, is is one very very easy thing. Actually, making a biscuit is one easy work to do. So you put it like this, so that it exceeds that sharp point at the bottom, like that. And then just follow exactly what you've cut before. Just exactly. Just follow it gently like so so guys subscribe to my channel if you've not like share comment and i will promise to respond to every comment like i said once we get to a thousand subscribers i'm going to start this series on suit making from the beginning to the end so please subscribe to my channel like and comment so in the next videos, I'm going to show how to sew a waistcoat. Well, maybe not next, but subsequent videos, I'm going to show how to sew this waistcoat. So thank you guys for watching. I love you. God bless you. Have a nice day.